Hello everyone, I am Becky Madujemu, a Nigerian content creator in the beautiful Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for stopping by to my returning subscribers. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? It's free and I've got good stuff lined up for you. I've got monologues and vlogs and I'm going to be keeping it real. I also have juicy gossip, okay? Trending matters will be analyzed here. So ride with me. Now to the meeting matter. As of today, the 3rd of March, 2024, Simon Iore Gobadia has deleted everything, everything to do with his soon to be ex-wife, Portia Williams. Portia Williams of the Real Housewives fame, the beautiful, delectable, diva it is over totally over so those of you who are saying it's a script because she's going back to the real housewives of atlanta and this is supposed to be a storyline well maybe you should think again i think the end has come now who is surprised are you uh, if you are then ah, he must be wearing rose glasses or how do they say the rose colored glasses or i don't know you've seen the word through rose colored glasses because some of us just saw it as a fleeting union it wasn't gonna last it wasn't built to last it wasn't built to last <laughs> why am i laughing i'm not happy <laughs> why am i laughing no i'm not happy that the marriage is over no i am laughing because we predicted this most of you may know that um, Simon was involved with failing a cast member of Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was Portia's friend in the reality show. She was Portia's friend. Mind you, friendships on reality shows are not really friendships as we know, know it to be. Um, when a, a new member is coming in, an old member acts as a friend. So I would say Portia and uh, Ferline were never friends. Yeah, they were never friends. So it's just the scripts like, oh, I'm going to see my friend Ferline. She lives with her husband did, 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 on this side of town. No, 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 they live in the mansion. That's the kind of introduction. You barely know this Ferline, but you're going to hop up as friends to bring you to meet the other the other cast members and when there, there's a lot of bickering which is part of the the theme when there's a lot of bickering um you're going to stand by your friend and when you fall out with your friend it's called a betrayal so the drama continues all to evoke drama now Fallon was married to simon between 2019 and 2021 just two years but they were together in all for five years okay and Portia along the line met Simon through filing when they were shooting and this is her husband. But then the marriage was already shaky. That's filing and Simon's marriage was already shaky. There was a scene on the show where Portia met Simon and it was just a flash. And of course, he must have registered in her consciousness like, oh, this guy is no bad, you know, when you check him out, like, oh, this guy is no bad and he has money. Look at this house. The house was empty at the time. The big house was empty. And you know, Fallon, being a young girl, and maybe because the marriage was about to hit the rocks, had no interest in decorating the house. And Portia, I'm stretching my imagination. <laughs> Portia probably saw the mansion. I was like, ah, I know what to do with this. This small girl, because Portia is a lot older than, than Fallon. They have eight years between them. This small girl doesn't know what to do with this mansion. Ah, I think I should come in and do something about it. Okay? <laughs> anyway. When they broke up, Portia it was who reached out to Simon, went into his Instagram DM. You know, a lot happens in Instagram DM. Many people are meeting their spouses through DM or on Instagram, not Facebook Messenger. <laughs> it doesn't happen on Facebook Messenger. You know, you get a lot of, well, I don't want to say, say what I would really think, but it's happening in Instagram DM. So if you don't have an Instagram, go there or your spouse may just be a DM away. Your spouse may just be a DM away. Anyway, I digress. Portia sent uh, Simon a message consoling him after the breakup with Fallin. 
Now, look at this. You didn't go to your friend, in quotes, Farlene, your friend from the franchise, to say Real Housewives franchise, to say, oh, I heard about this and that. I'm sorry. Oh, you mean your marriage is over? Oh, how are you feeling? I hope you get over it, blah, blah, blah. You know the way we console people who are going through a divorce or a breakup? You didn't do that. You went straight to the man's DM and started commiserating with him on the loss of his marriage. And of course, the man must have entered your page. Like, is this the real Portia? And he saw the blue tick. And I'm like, ah, it's Portia. Wow. I started going through your pictures. And you know, Portia is beautiful. Even without makeup, Portia is beautiful. She has beautiful features. Good nose, beautiful eyes, that face, ah, the body. Simon must have gone through a page and like, ah, 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 I need some comforting right now. This one is very beautiful. Mm. Scroll down, scroll down. I replied. You know that kind of reply? When you reply, you delete it. You're like, this is not good enough. Let me, let me write another thing that will, that will foster communication. And he, he did again. And like, I'm back and forth, back and forth. And they met. And they hit it up like, pew! Everything just went, pa. The relationship was on fire. In one month, they were together. Before anybody could ask, are they dating? They were already engaged. And the headlines were like, betrayal, betrayal, betrayal. Porsche didn't care. You know what? Because this is what I want. In this world, some people don't apologize for what they want. They just go and take it. And if you look at Porsche's history, Porsche is an enjoyment babe. When I say enjoyment, when she sees where there's enjoyment, she does not listen to the world. Though. She goes in and enjoys herself. If you look at her past, she was with, there was this guy who was a big, uh, big deal during Nigeria, Nigeria's ex-president, Jonathan's regime. Um, he worked closely with Desiani. She was the minister of petroleum at that time. So he made a lot of money and bought Porsche. I remember this scene from Real Housewives of Atlanta. He bought Porsche a very um, luxurious car. And she was teased about it on the show. She was mocked about it on the show for dating a supposedly, was it a married man? I don't remember the details right now. But Portia is that kind of girl that she goes for the bag. You have to be rich. because She has money of her own. She's successful. Portia is successful. But she loves things. I, don't, I just don't mean things. She loves big things. And so she, judging from where she's coming from, Simon was the kind of man a Portia would want. And so she went in with her all, you know, they were just like a house on fire. Portia and Simon were a match made in millions of dollars. You trust they will give us a royal wedding? And they sure did. People magazine covered the, the wedding, the first leg of the wedding. That's the only picture. Simon left on his Instagram as of today. Maybe they struck a deal with People Magazine so he couldn't delete that one, but the others he did. There may be uh, another show he had where he featured prominently in the video. Portia was there too on the thumbnail, so he had to leave that one. But when it comes to everything to do with the marriage, everything to do with the relationship, all the outings, all the mushy mushy stuff, he deleted. Or maybe he archived them, but they're not there on his page. It got rid of everything. I would say Simon went through the five stages of grief in one week. <laughs> in one week. And it doesn't happen that way. But he did it in a hurry. The five stages of grief play out when you lose a loved one or you go through a breakup. And the stages are, uh, the first is denial anger bargaining depression and acceptance when the scandal involving simon's citizenship and his past his checkered past his alleged scamming past broke before the ink could dry Portia filed for a divorce it happened so fast i went to Portia's page because that's usually where you find the exhibits i went to Portia's instagram and scrolled down Three days before she filed for a divorce, they went boating, enjoying cruising, because they know how to enjoy. That, that relationship was all about fun, mind you. They know how to enjoy. And I saw them boating in a, 
You know this kind of boat that looks like a car? I've never seen that before. They were boating and joining. And she wrote, my ride or die. Three days after that, you are filing for a divorce. It didn't make any sense. And people said, oh, they're just doing it because they want to confuse the authorities. They want to cover up their tracks, you know. But Simon started acting out. And that was when some of us knew that, oh, this is real. While others were saying, oh, it's a storyline for the, for the return of Portia to the real housewives of Atlanta. I said, no, this is for real because Simon was acting out. He was acting unbordered. When people act unbordered, they are actually bordered. <laughs> when people act unbordered, mind you, they are overcompensating. That is the denial stage of his grief. That was the denial stage of his grief. He was in denial. How was he overcompensating? How was he acting unbothered? He was posting videos of cars. Suddenly, Simon never really posted cars, except he's driving in the cars or, you know, with Porsche in them. But I was posting that something is missing in my garage. What is missing? And there comes another... Um, luxurious automobile and like this is what is missing the next thing you know i love cars it was all about cars i said i see denial low. this is not on border this guy is pained and understandably so he should be pained he loved his wife he loved Porsche to the moon and back he still loves Porsche. love is not something you just turn on like a switch off and on no he's gonna love Porsche for a very long time because it was a wild wound marriage he is a man who likes to have a good time and he met his perfect match who also love a good time. They were having fun every day. Every day was a party, man. Porsche loves cars. Maybe he was posting those things to get Porsche back. Like, oh, you love cars. Look at cars. I'm going to get more. But Porsche has gone. She knows that, look, the party is over. I got to go. I have a reputation to save. You have a scamming past. I'm not going to have none of that. I'm going into my future. With all my money, because she released a statement and warned that do not tamper with our money or uh, receipts. Don't do that. They had a prenup, yes, but she doesn't want to lose. She wants to collect the money in her prenup and go walk into the sunset and start again. Maybe get another wealthy gentleman who will come for her. Because some rich men like those kind of girls with a history of chop money. If you don't know what chop money is, tag in Nigeria for translation. In one breath, Simon went through the anger, bargaining, and depression stage. Three in one stage in two days. Posting those videos to get her back that was bargaining. Um, posting those videos of buying cars, acquiring new cars. That was depression. Yes, he was not happy, but he was doing that to save faith. Deleting all her videos is acceptance he has accepted that this is over i gotta move on sometimes the stages could be you know intertwined so he's going to get angry while he's accepting it this is when the cryptic posts will start coming this is when he'll start telling his truth so watch out for that acceptance and anger because he's done with the bargaining Maybe there'll be a sprinkling of depression in this last stage of anger and acceptance. Watch out for those. This union, in a nutshell, was built to break. The foundation was faulty. He was with your friend, supposed friend, and you walked in immediately, she left, and you took over. The minute there was a bit of trial, you just walked out to save yourself. Let him sink in the Titanic. Now, what's Portia and Simon's future going to look like? Some people are telling Simon to go marry a Nigerian woman. After all, you are 59. Go and settle down with a Nigerian woman that will take care of you as a husband and respect you and stay with you till old age. Let's be honest. We didn't see old age with Portia. He's how many years older than her? He's 59. Portia is 42. Did we see old age with them, like sitting on the porch and reminiscing about how they had fun? It didn't look like that. I didn't see a future with them. I didn't see old age with them. And people are saying, oh, oh, oh Simon is 59. They should go and marry a Nigerian woman. They should leave all these American women. Marry a Nigerian woman and settle with her. 
Why would he do that? He doesn't understand. I don't think he understands Nigerian women to an extent because this man has been in America since 1982. I think he was still very young then and he's been with American women all his life. He doesn't understand how Nigerian women act in a relationship. He's used to the fun and the turmoil that comes with being with a certain class of women. He wouldn't know what to do with a Nigerian woman, would he? And a Nigerian woman would be fun for him. That's what I think. I'm just stretching my imagination. So that's not likely to happen. He's going to find love again. I hope he finds real love. He deserves it. I think he's a nice person. He deserves true love, but he should look closely before jumping in. As for Portia, she's young. The sky is a stepping stone. She's beautiful. She's talented. She has so much to offer the world, and she's going to keep doing that in terms of entertainment. And she's going to keep finding her kind of man because whether you like it or not, she's a hot one. She's a hot pick. And so that's it. Thanks for watching my show. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking about it. I'll see you again soon. And if there's any update on this developing story, I'll bring it to you. Bye now. Mm -hmm.